Ben's funeral is a world event on a grand scale. It's also a massive international security operation. Here's a unique insight from a former royal bodyguard. Ladies and gentlemen, please make way to Lord Kapar. It's the biggest security show on earth. One funeral, 2,000 VIPs, 10,000 police officers and a million mourners. The fact that we have all these people in one place at the same time, yes, it's an extremely big security risk. Simon Morgan would have taken a bullet for the royal family. He used to be one of their personal protection officers. You always have to be, be looking to stay ahead of the threat. Um, you know, the bad guy only has to get it right once, you have to get it right every day. The royal family will be front and centre at the Queen's funeral. Behind King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla, Prince and Princess of Wales William and Kate, the Queen's other three children will also be among the chief mourners. It's expected all eight of the Queen's grandchildren will be present, including Prince Harry and wife Meghan. Will King Charles be wearing a bulletproof vest? Um, I'd rather not say. Okay. And William? I'd rather not say. Mm. It is a possibility? It's a possibility, depends on what the threat is. Joining the British royals, a slew of foreign monarchs from Spain, Belgium, Norway, Denmark, Sweden and the Netherlands. We've already spotted snipers on rooftops in Scotland, but there's so much more to this mega operation. There are the ones that everybody draws themselves to, and that's rifle officers on roof along with observers who will be monitoring all these things. Um, firearms teams, both uniform and plain clothes, who will have a role to, to intercept if need be. The protection officers will take front and centre role kind of of this um, funeral. Former cop turned private security operator Simon Morgan from Trojan says, London's Metropolitan Police Force is ready. We've had the funeral of the Princess of Wales. We had the funeral of the Queen Mother, who also lay in state uh, for several days. We even had the wedding of the now Prince and Princess of Wales, who were formerly the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, at Westminster Abbey. So elements of the plan have already been looked at. They've already been um, delivered. They've already been tested. They've already been tweaked a little bit. The Met will also be responsible for protecting world leaders winging their way to London, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, Asia, South America and the US. A global show of solidarity. Foreign security teams like President Biden's detail will also be under the command of the Met. Uh, you have to understand what you can and can't do. And the Secret Service fully understand that. And with regards to the president using the beast, that may be a concession with regards to their safety and the threat and risk kind of at the time. So, you know, that's most probably been negotiated at an extremely high level of, across both security commands and indeed potentially across governments as well. Along with the 2,000 world leaders, royals and VIPs, a million members of the public. People face queuing overnight to file past the Queen's coffin at Westminster Hall as Her Majesty lies in state until Monday morning local time, the day of the funeral. The largest scale security operation we've seen in recent memory in London was the London Olympic Games. This dwarfs that. Security and terror risk expert Neil Fergus says the huge number of mourners adds another dimension to an extreme security operation. The plan has been in development since the late 60s and it's revised three times every year without fail. They're very conscious of the risk with the uh, mass gatherings uh, and you've only got to look back to the terrorist attacks, two separate attacks that happened in 2017. Those perpetrators weren't interested in attacking necessarily the institutions of state. They were attacking crowds, civilians. First though, the greatly anticipated procession of the Queen's coffin through the streets of London. Fittingly starting at Buckingham Palace, her coffin will travel along the Mall before making its way to the Palace of Westminster, where the lying of state will begin. You have to be confident going into a situation like this that your plan is going to work, because otherwise you've already failed at the first hurdle.